Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I've been using the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod for the last four years, since the time that I reviewed it at that point. And over that time, my appreciation for this travel tripod has only grown, particularly as I have reviewed a lot of alternates, and I continue to find that this is the standout to me in terms of its overall performance and stability. I really only have two complaints about the carbon fiber travel tripod from Peak Design. The first is a functional one, and that is the fact that while this ball head has a really unique and clever design, you don't really have any kind of true pan function, and so you are a little limited in that regard. The other complaint, however, has more to do with the overall price. I think this is an amazing piece of engineering. I think it's extremely useful, but let's be honest, at 650 US dollars for the carbon fiber version of this tripod, that's gonna be outside the budget of a lot of people. And when you talk about having a compact, not even fully, you know, full size, fully functional tripod that's gonna cost this much, most people are just gonna roll their eyes. However, as I have reviewed alternatives, as noted, I have found that they don't quite always measure up in a lot of different areas. So I had the thought, what about looking at the aluminum version of the same tripod? You save about $270 when you go to the aluminum version of this tripod. And outside of the fact that it weighs a little bit more, it has the exact same design, the exact same functionality, and at a much more affordable price tag of $379 US dollars. Today's episode is brought to you by Phantom Wallet, the minimalist modern wallet that is now even better with the new Phantom X that is crafted from aluminum right here in Canada. It is 22% smaller and 35% lighter, while still making it easy to access your cards and money when you need them, thanks to their unique fanning mechanism. You could even customize your wallet due to its modular design, with accessories like a money clip, cash holder, ID display, and even Chipolo and AirTag tracking integration. Visit store.phantomwallet.com to check out their unique sizes, styles, and finishes that span from aluminum to wood to carbon fiber. And use code DUSTIN15 for 15% off when you're ready to check out. So, everything starts in this little bag right here, which is one of the things that I like about it. It is a weatherproof nylon case, got a carrying handle. It's just, it's designed to where you could also uh, put it onto a strap and makes it easy to carry. And it fits everything very, very nice and compact inside. And I have also found like the tripod itself for the last four years with a lot of use that uh, with the carbon fiber version that that has held up really well. Second thing that I really like about these tripods is the fact that these cam locks or you know, the locks at the leg extension, I have found with the carbon fiber version, they have held up perfectly. I've never had to tighten them. I've never had to fiddle with them. And trust me, that is not my experience with a lot of tripods. They just work, they work easily, they work functionally. And everything here is easy to either collapse or to extend and everything locks very securely into place. And I've just never had an issue with any of those locks. Center column works with a knob there on the side by which you can extend it up if you want. And everything is has one simple locking mechanism here for the actual you know, unique design of a ball head that is still unlike anything that I've really ever seen before. So let's take a look at the basic specifications. As noted, the designs are identical, except for in the case of the carbon fiber, it is 1.29 kilograms or 2.81 pounds, whereas the aluminum version is instead 3.44 pounds or 1.56 kilograms. And so for that about a half pound, you're saving a lot of different money. Carbon fiber is, it's not quite indestructible, but it's it's fairly close to it and there's not really hardly any way to actually damage the finish. I haven't used this one long term in the same way but I do think it's more likely that you're going to get some scratches over time, some wear marks on the aluminum versus the carbon fiber version. However, I mean Peak Design makes its things really really well so I suspect it'll hold up just fine. Now the collapse dimensions get down as small as 39.1 centimeters or 15.4 inches. And as you can see, it fully extends up to 152.4 centimeters or 60 inches. Both of them have an identical payload capacity of 20 pounds. And frankly, that 20 pound payload is going to exceed any kind of real camera combination that you might put on there. This is my heaviest combination I've got in my kit. And just for demonstration, I'm gonna use just the Peak Design capture plate there, lock it into place. 
lock things down. And as you can see, it has no problem in carrying a payload just like this, even if I'm putting it in a really unergonomic position by not using the tripod foot as a part of the design. And so we have a, you know, a very flexible design that's going to work just fine. And as noted, there's a lot of stability there in these legs because they, the leg ex extension goes wider than any of the other travel tripods I've used. And as a byproduct, I just find that these are just a little bit more stable. So here's some of the things that have stood out to me that I really like along the way. We have ARCA compatibility on the plate here, which I haven't always encountered with uh, these compact travel type tripods. And so I love the fact that I can go, whether it is the tripod foot on some lenses or it's a capture plate, which if you've seen my cameras, I have capture plates, uh, Peak Design capture plates on them all the time. Or if it is a quick release plate, most of them are going to fit just fine on there and lock into place. So I really appreciate the fact that it's got, got the ARCA compatibility. I also appreciate the overall kind of flow here going from straps going to the actual capture clips and onto the plates themselves there's just a lot of versatility there that allows you to move into different carrying slash stabilization solutions and all of it is designed to work together which is one of the things that peak design kind of stood out to me early on about doing that wasn't always the pay, play or the case with other manufacturers I also love the fact that this folds down small enough to fit into some really tight spaces, including going into my camera bag when I'm traveling at times, and I can throw it into the camera bag, I can bring it along, and even without packing it on the outside, I can maybe bring it on the outside once I'm at, at the destination, but I love the fact that it can be carried like that, and it's designed to where you can use the Peak Design anchors, and you can actually carry the tripod itself even slung across your back. I also really appreciate the design that allows you to have tools handy as it does here to where if you need to make some kind of adjustment, you do have tools that are right there. It also comes in handy sometimes in putting on a plate onto something where it may not al already be mounted. It also has a clever design here where you have a hook obviously to hang something for more stability, but if you twist that, it has a unique kind of mag lock thing that if you twist and you remove it, it has an extension there and so you can put your actual um, cell phone onto the mount itself and so you can switch over to having a cell phone mounting platform which is obviously going to be useful for a lot of people who may do some recording on that. I also like the fact that Peak Design stands behind these products. They have a lifetime warranty and you know obviously considering that tripods do get some wear and tear that is something that is going to be I think useful maybe in your lifetime. So there's a lot that I like about it. And if you take kind of the price consideration out, kind of the main thing that I'm left with as a criticism is the fact that you don't really have a true panning because it's only one lock. And so it just allows you to loosen the ball head. Yes, you can make rotations, but you're also not going to keep it on just one axis. It's very likely that as you rotate, you're going to introduce a little bit of a tilt one way or another in a way that just having just a true kind of panning type action would allow you or would keep you from actually executing. So that still is a design flaw to me, but outside of that, there is a lot of design strengths as a part of this. And at $379, yeah, aluminum isn't as cool as carbon fiber, but you get the exact same functionality, the exact same clever design, and a tripod that still amazes me at how slim it becomes after you pack that baby up to be able to lock that down and put it into a lightweight, compact package that takes up very, very little room is still a pretty impressive design. And the fact that unlike many of the travel tripods that I've seen that are basically just miniaturized versions of the same kind of tripod I've seen all along, Peak Design really does have a unique design, right down to the shape of the legs and the way that this all fits together really tightly, only about three inches across there in diameter. That's really, really impressive. And so I appreciate the design here. And so if you're looking for a great travel tripod, you don't wanna spend the big bucks for the carbon fiber. I don't blame you for that, but you might wanna consider the aluminum version. It's still an amazing tripod, has the exact same functionality, and it's a more wallet-friendly 380 bucks. I've been enjoying the Peak Design Travel Tripod for years. This isn't just something that I temporarily used. It's something that I, I reach for all the time because it just works. If you want more information, you can look in the description down below and I've got linkage there if you'd like to purchase one or to check out further info there. And of course, beyond that, there's linkage as always to follow myself or Craig on social media to become a patron. You can get channel merchandise. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.
and let the light in.